my name is Kelly Ratterman. I am the founder and leader of Team Hashtag Live Love Lift. Um, I am a Star Diamond coach, and I am excited to share what I have for you tonight. So I'm going to share my screen so I can show you the slides that I have for you tonight. And sorry if the lighting's a little wonky. I have the sun coming in from my blinds where my desk is, so perfect timing. Oops, I just clicked stop video. Please don't actually do that. Huh. Okay, I think we're good. Present. And I'm not even on slide one, so you're going to get a little preview as I get back to slide one. Bam. Tonight's call is about how do I find time to work my business? And surprise, surprise, I'm going to tell you that you actually don't find time to work your business. You make time to work your business. So I'm really excited to help you find ways to make the time. And this call is basically going to be focused on the business behaviors, not on leading a team. So that's like a whole nother thing to tackle is how do you find time or how do you make time to lead your team. We're just talking about your personal business, the vital behaviors, that kind of stuff. Um, because think about it this way. I think I've heard this said several times and it always hits me. Everyone has 24 hours in a day, right? Lindsay Matway, she has 24 hours in a day, just like you do. I only have 24 hours in a day. So it's about what you make out of the time that you do have. Okay, so first I wanna talk about sacrificing for your why okay so first if you don't know what your why is you can't sacrifice for it <laughs> doesn't mean anything so first I want you to define your why I want you to dig deep and really know why you are a beach body coach what is it that you want for yourself what is it that you want for other people um, and your why is gonna change as life changes your goals are gonna change um, and I do talk a lot about visualization, which I won't get into on this call, but I just think it's so important to like visualize your goal and visualize what you, what you want in detail and like what is life going to be like when you reach your goals as a Beachbody coach. In detail, what is a day in your life going to be like? And that is what makes it go deep. So once you define your why, once you have visualized it and you know what you're reaching for, then you need to sacrifice for it. So how much TV do you watch a day? Because if you're on this call, you're watching this, and you're like, I just, I don't have time for the four vital behaviors. But you also like record a show on your DVR every single night, then you do have time. You're just not making the time. So make some sacrifices. Think about everything you do on any given day and whatever is not helping you reach your goals as a coach, get rid of it. You'd be surprised at how many things you really don't need in your life. Um, I don't have a TV. I used to be such a junkie. Like I was that person who had three shows a night recorded on my DVR. But I don't even have a TV anymore. And I do watch Netflix maybe once a week uh, when I just need some chill time. But trust me, you don't need it. Um, also, another example of a sacrifice is to not go out during the week. Um, so I'm single, so I don't have a family right now that I'm worried about. Um, so I do like to go out with friends and socialize and meet new people. Um, but I save that for the weekends because during the week I'm working, um, cause I have a why and it's a strong one. And so I'm working towards that and I just make some sacrifices where they need to be made. Um, okay. Next thing. Focus your time. Uh, how are you liking my slides? Pretty straightforward, simple. <laughs> um, okay, so focusing your time. And I'm talking about focusing in all moments of your day. So when you're working your beach body business, you're working your beach body business, okay? Your blinders are on and you are focused. When you're spending time with your family, you're not messaging people on your phone. You are focused on them. Um, for me, if I'm with my friends, I'm not on my phone. I'm focused on what I'm doing, right? Um, and trust me, I struggle with this probably the most, but it is probably the quickest way that you're going to make more time for yourself. Because if you're spreading yourself thin and you're doing everything all the time, uh, you're wasting time. You're just not being as efficient as you could be. Um, 
Let's see my next point. Eliminate distractions. That kind of goes along with the same thing. Um, but we're talking more like logistics, right? So how do you eliminate distractions during your beach body work? Well, you're not scrolling on Facebook, right? Um, you're using your tracker. You're following your tracker. So you're not like, what do I do next, you know? Uh, you don't get into Facebook and then end up doing 20 connects, but you didn't do any invites, right? So you wanna work from your tracker. Um, your tracker, whether it be Teamsy, the Thrive Tracker, or another tracker that you found, like I swear every team has made a tracker. So whatever works for you, Teamsy works for me. And I find that whenever I'm doing my Beachbody coaching vital behaviors in my power hour, and I'm going, from Teamsy to the messaging, um, it's always quicker and more efficient than if I'm just like, oh, I'll just go on Facebook and I'll kind of message whoever I like feel like talking to, or I'll like come up with who to invite based on who's liking my stuff. Like, sure, you can do that, but if we're talking how to make the time, because you, you can't make the time right now, you haven't figured it out yet, then I want you to go by your tracker. And that's how you do your power hour. So that's one way to stay focused in your beach body business. Um, other ways to be focused, I kind of already mentioned, you're not on your phone when you don't have to be. So sure, maybe you're working your biz on your phone, but then when you're not working your business, you're not on it. Just don't do it. It's a distraction. It's a total distraction. Um, I also heard, I don't know the statistic because I just heard it. Lindsay Matway's husband said this on um, a Dynasty Surge call. He said that you're like 70 something percent more efficient when you're working on a laptop versus a phone. And I think it's because phone has more distractions. So another tip for focusing your time, do your work on your laptop. I mean, just think when you're sitting at your desk, how much more focused you are than if you're like curled up on the couch on your phone, right? So there's my advice on how to focus your time. Okay, next is mainly geared towards if you have a family, a spouse, um, or even if you're like me, honestly, <laughs> I wrote, talk with your spouse or yourself, because um, this is kind of about making a schedule and making a commitment and having clear expectations. Um, so I want you to sit down with your spouse or chat with them, whatever, go on a date, to talk business, whatever, and I want you to explain to them what the power hour is, okay? So we're talking again about the power hour because that is where your vital behaviors lie, okay? Besides your personal workout, Shakeology, personal development, your power hour is where you move your business forward, right? Because it's where you're building relationships, relationships and you're inviting people to join you. So explain to them what power hour is because I have heard so many husbands or wives, if you're a, a male coach, um, but I've heard them complain about their beach body coach spouse being on social media. I'm like, what are you doing? You're just ignoring me. You're wasting time. Explain to them what your power hour is so they know what your work is like, right? Don't you want them to know what you're doing at work? So explain to them what it is and schedule it. And tell them that you will be more efficient in your work if you have that focused hour every single day or at least six days a week. I totally promote taking a day off. So schedule it in. Ask them, like, are you willing to help me to make this one hour focused so that way, outside of this hour, I can focus more on you, on our kids, on whatever. And then let them help you, okay? Make things very clear for them. Okay, I hope that was clear. That's it for that slide. Okay, next tip to make time for your business is to be consistent. So I feel like when you're in this mindset of like, it's too much, I'm overwhelmed, I can't handle it, I can't find the time, there's no time to do what I need to do for my beach body business. It's partly because you're not being consistent, okay? You're not finding that one hour day to power hour and the 30 minutes to get your personal time, your workout in. Um, and when you're not being consistent, then you get in this place where you are working with a well that's not full. Okay, so you're not connecting with people every day, so you don't have conversations going, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh no, like I haven't made any income, I have no one for my challenge group next month, and I don't know who to invite. 
because I haven't been talking to anybody. Oh, darn it. Now who do I invite? How do I make that feel natural? Like, there's just so many problems that arise when you're not being consistent with your power hours. Um, you get really overwhelmed and you're constantly playing catch up. And that's when you don't have time, right? Because think of how scattered your mind is. So things are taking longer. You have to spend more time in your conversations to work to a point where they have the information and you're able to invite and things like that. Um, so not being consistent is what gets you to that point where you just don't have enough time. So if you can make that time consistently, then you won't have that craziness where you can't find the time. Oh, need some water. Okay. We're almost done, you guys. So no extras. Okay, we're talking business activities here. So do not create your own sneak peek. If your upline has a sneak peek, use it, okay? Um, unless you're diamond and you feel like you've mastered your daily power hour, your personal health and fitness, you've mastered the five-step invite, connecting, all those things. If you haven't mastered those yet, I don't care what rank you are, do not create a sneak peek. That is extra. Do not create eBooks. Don't give out freemiums. That's not gonna help move your business forward, especially when you're in a place where you are having trouble making time for your business. Do not lead your own challenge groups. Yes, lead challenge groups, but do not lead them on your own if it's overwhelming and stressful and takes extra time. I have co-led groups before and I love it. When I wake up and I'm like, oh yeah, it's her day to post. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> as long as you find a coach or coaches that you kind of like set a plan ahead of time, you're on the same page, do it. Co-lead groups, okay? Don't add extra stuff in your plate that you just don't need to add. Only do those things, the activities that move your business forward. That is the four vital behaviors. That is how you make the biggest impact, which leads to the biggest income, okay? So biggest impact, we're talking, so how do you impact people? Challenge packs, right? You wanna help them, fitness, nutrition, accountability, all three things. Bam, okay, cool, make the biggest impact, sell a challenge pack, make money, get successful points, move your business forward, bring people in, help people, okay? That's what we're talking about. And how do you get to that point? Do your power hour. Simple, I don't even need to go into it anymore. <laughs> okay, so I just wanna end with some quick tips. Oh, I can just move this guy. See, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, um, some quick tips just to end for you, okay? So these aren't like concepts. This is just like little ideas I have for you to make more time for yourself. Um, when you're messaging on Facebook or even text messaging now, um, for the most part, I think depending on what phone you have or definitely in Facebook Messenger, you can use voice messaging. I utilize this all the time. It's more personal and it's way quicker than typing out a thing. I also use video quite a bit. I will send like four videos in a row because Facebook only lets you do like 30 second video. So I'll just talk for 30 seconds, send it, talk again, send it, talk again, send it. Um, and it helps people just like get a feel for your personality, answers questions really quickly for you. It's way quicker to get info across using your voice than it is typing. Eat your frog. Okay, so I don't know if you've read the book Eat That Frog yet, but basically what I'm saying for most people, this is gonna be to invite first. Most people don't like inviting, so that's the vital behavior that they like the least. But what vital behavior do you like the least? It might be working out still. Maybe you're still not on the working out bandwagon. Um, so first thing in the morning, workout. I've been there. I, even as a coach, as like a new coach, I was only working out maybe three times a week. Um, and then it just clicked and I was doing 4.30 a.m. workouts every day. I just committed. I don't know what clicked, but I had to do it first thing in the morning. Otherwise, it just wouldn't happen. Then I got in the habit, and now I work out any time of day. It always gets in, no matter what. Um, so whatever your frog is, whatever is hardest for you, and you're like, I just don't get to that, do it first. So I don't care what order your power hour is in. Do your three to five invites first, okay? So eat your frog. Okay. 
Next, have a WooFoo form. So I have a WooFoo form that I would totally share with you. All you need to do is ask. Um, really, I should post it in our team page, but I just haven't yet. Um, okay, so the, uh, what a WooFoo form is, is basically you do it from WooFoo.com. It's a form where you can like ask them questions. It can be like a fill-in or a multiple choice. Um, you can get a person's email. Um, excuse me if they've ever tried Shakeology before, that's one of my questions, um, what their health and fitness goals are, kind of where they're at right now, um, what videos they'd like, informational videos they'd like to see. So if someone says, yeah, I want to see a video on Shakeology, that's the biggest, like, no pressure invite ever. Oh, here's a video on Shakeology. Like, how do you think it would benefit you? Uh, makes it so easy. And then you already have their goals set. You don't need to go through the conversation. So um, usually what I do is if uh, I invite someone and then they're like, yeah, sure, tell me more about it. And I'll be like, okay, awesome. Like, would you mind taking just a couple of minutes to fill out the short interest form? It'll help me know where to start. And they always are like, sure. Okay, here's the link. Um, I'll email you or, uh, yeah, usually I say I'll email them because I'll get their email and it's easier to send links um, just depending on what social media I'm on. But, yeah, I'll just tell them how I'm going to follow up. This goes with my next little quick tip. Tell them how I'm going to follow up so they know what's coming. Um, and then I get all their info and then I can just send them based on what they told me in their Wufu form. So it like, skips the entire five-step invite. <laughs> so Wufu forms are awesome. Um, and it also provides a call to action in your uh, public invite posts where you can just say, like, if you just want more details on this group, fill out this quick form and I'll get back to you. Okay, next quick tip. Always move on to the next step. Okay, so there's two parts to this. One is to just respond immediately. So when you're in... So I wouldn't do this in your power hours. Power hours, you just want to get them out there. You want to do your three invites. You want to do your three ads. You want to do your three connects or whatever your number is right now for where you're at in your business. Um, you want to get them out, okay? Don't respond right away in your power hour because then you won't get to your numbers. Um, but once that's done, when you're doing your responding, let's say you see you have a Facebook message, you open it up, they ask you a question. Instead of being like, oh, I need to look that up, like I'll just respond later or whatever, that's just going to create a lot of buildup. It's going to just, ha it's like hanging over your head. Um, I think a lot of what we're talking about here has to deal with like the feeling of overwhelmment and stress and having things hanging there uh, that you still need to get to adds to that. And that's what creates like a feeling of not having time. So respond immediately, look it up, get them an answer. Also, always say what the next step is, okay? So don't just leave the conversation hanging. You want to always have an action step. So, for example, what I just said, when there's a Wufu form, I'm like, okay, cool, here's the form. As soon as I get it in my email, once uh, I'll check it, you know, I'll know my business schedule. So I'll say, like, I'll get back to you right away or I, I'm heading to bed, I'll get back to you tomorrow or something like that. Um, and I'll tell them, I will email you. Uh, more information so they know what's coming and then you know what your next step is so you can just take care of it okay another quick tip is to do your personal development on the go so if you're struggling to fit in your personal development but you like to do it in like a book in your hands like a physical book and you want to take notes but you're not getting to it scratch that it's not about doing things in the ideal way or perfectly it's about getting them done okay PD in, in the form of an audiobook in your car on the drive to work, or I list not while I'm doing my makeup, getting ready in the morning. I have a Bluetooth speaker I bought from a Facebook yard sale page for five bucks, uh, so I can hear it while I'm in the shower, um, and I just listen to it. It's better to listen every single day than it is to take notes from a book maybe once a week, okay? Um... And then the last quick tip that I have, I think, I'm, I'm going to check my notes and see if I had another one that I didn't put on the slide, but uh, do not scroll on Facebook, okay? Like, you are fooling yourself if you're scrolling on Facebook, and yeah, maybe you're liking and commenting, um, but it's not intentional, okay? So I have done this before. I've fooled myself being like, well, I'm liking and commenting a ton, so I'm making all these connections, but you're not being intentional. You're not targeting those people who might be interested or who you've already connected with, so you can do a couple different things here. Instead of doing your main conversations through Facebook messaging, messaging, messenger, mess, I don't know, um, you can switch to email or phone calls. Um, that's a quick way to connect with people 
If you're in email and phone calls, they'll tend to talk more, share more, um, type out more like paragraphs and things versus Facebook where they get distracted easily, right, by notifications or their feed. Um, and they're just like type real quick and then they'll go and then they don't answer you. So that can be one way. Um, or another cool way is to create a friend interest list, okay? I actually have not done this yet for my prospects personally, but I've done it for my team and for my Team Cup team. So you just go on Facebook and uh, I'll just briefly go through how to do it without actually like sharing. Um, so on the left column of your Facebook page, there's like, it says like groups, events, right? It has different categories and there's one that says friends. So click on that and then I think it's a button in the top right corner, but just, you'll find it. I figured it out, so easy. There's like a create a list or interest list or something or friend list, something like that. or Google how to do this <laughs> um, and just create an interest list. You can add whatever names you want to it. So as you're adding new friends, you can add them to your interest list. If you just want to be liking and commenting on new friends pages, or like I said, I do it for my um, team page. So when I'm working on recognition, that's a vital behavior. When I'm working on that, I can just click the interest list and just see what all of my downline is posting. Um, so I can really quick get that recognition done. It's such a time saver. Um, and then I think I actually have it all. Uh, yeah, that is all our time saving tips. So I'm gonna stop the share. Um, so I hope that all helped. I tried to give you some easy logistic type tips and I tried to uh, give you some more concept based tips. So um, just make some sacrifices because you know what your why is and uh, make the time.